Let's talk about the use of static fields in our programming language. Why are static fields necessary? Well, let's come back to our employee class and let's discuss what's happening. One of the things I want to happen is I want an employee to be assigned an individual ID number that is unique to the employee. So let me go ahead and jump over here and show you guys that I, I did accomplish that. Let me actually start from the beginning again. I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to run pay calculations. Um, we're going to compile it and we're going to run it. And what you'll see is every employee has been given a unique employee number. Now we've used a set values here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But every employee was given a, an employee number and the employee number increments at the creation of every employee, right? And the way we accomplish that is by using an employee start number. Let's jump into the employee and talk about that. So this static number is saying we're going to start at this value and assign that value back to the employee number. We're going to increment it, right? So this particular variable needs to be a class variable. It needs to be shared among all classes but when it changes, it needs to be shared among all objects. And when it changes, it doesn't. It needs to be accessible and modifiable by all the objects. But only one copy needs to be made, because this is the employee start number for all employees. When the next employee starts, it's going to be one five zero zero four, I think. Yeah, one five zero zero five. Sorry. And so we want this particular number to be independent of the objects. Right, a value that is held as one copy that all objects share. It is a class variable, unique to the class, but not to the objects. All these instance variables have unique copies that are given to every instance. So every object has its own last name, first name, employee number, address, social. But this variable, all objects need to be able to access. So we use the keyword static in that case. And what we do is we use the keyword static. We assign the current value to the employee number in each one of our constructors. right? And we, uh, we increment the value of employee number start. So when our first employee is created, he's given the, the value of 15000. And when the second value is created, it's 15001 and so forth and so on. All right. So static variable uh, within an object allows us to create a class copy that all objects share. And you can see its function in this case using this employee number start. We're going to stop here.